YouTube and social media. Peep this out, guys. It's Ian K back again with another one for you here in Costa Mesa, California, to take a look at Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, a very popular chicken spot that's finally making its way into Southern California that I've always wanted to try, and now I finally can. That's right, guys. I've heard a lot of great things about Raising Cane's, and chances are, if you've already got one in your neighborhood, you probably have as well. So I wanted to swing on down and take a look at their three finger combo, which looks to be the classic chicken finger meal that I already know with fries on the side, only in this case, it's got a sexy piece of Texas toast to go with it. So how incredibly awesome is it and is the flavor going to be better than standard chicken tenders in general well guys before i take that first bite to give you my thoughts like i always do let's get right up on it first let's peep this out It's one love over here at Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers with their three finger combo featuring three of their chicken fingers, a very thick slice of Texas toast, some crinkle cut fries, and for your dipping pleasure, a little bit of cane sauce. The quote unquote bird specialists make these to order every single time, guys, hand breading each of these chicken tenderloins separately and then dropping them into canola oil where they're fried up to a nice golden brown. And let me just say the aroma in my car is pretty awesome. The thick cut Texas toast is actually sesame seed pull apart bread that actually has a wash of butter and garlic on it. And again, that is also adding to the overall aroma in here right now, looking very, very lovely. And then you've got the crinkle cut fries here pulling up the rear, but I gotta say they already look better than your standard french fries gotta say i'm looking forward to getting into the cane sauce which is described as a thousand island type dressing with a little hint of spice so i'm sure that's going to play nicely with everything in this meal but there you go guys the three finger combo here at raising canes let's peep out this flavor yeah it definitely smells great let me give this texas toast a shot first though to see what this is all about hmm well, it's what it says it is, a thick cut piece of sesame seeded bread, lightly toasted with a little bit of butter on top, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of doughiness in the middle as well, but pretty tasty. It is pretty dense, so if you like thick cut bread with a little bit of butter and garlic on it there, this is gonna be right up your alley. And for the crinkle cut fries, lightly salty, lightly crispy. Standard, not bad. It's kind of hard to mess up fries in general when they're light and crispy like this, so it really just comes down to the quality of the potato, and in this case, it's actually pretty tasty there. The light salt really does add to it. But this is what it's all about. Hand-breaded, thick-cut, all-white meat, chicken tenderloins. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, nice crunch. Now, I gotta say, they made these pretty quick, and since they are made to order, I'm thinking that these are pretty much flash-fried, because that's how it tastes to me. There's not a lot of heavy breading on it, but the thickness and the juiciness of the white meat is seriously on point. Mmm. Definitely some nice juicy white meat on the inside of these tenderloins, guys, but I do have to say, with the lightness of the batter on the outside, aside from the flash frying, the flavor is just a little bit more subdued. I mean, it's not nearly as salty as a regular chicken tender, which is a good thing, but it's the flavor of the white meat that's really coming out more than the breading itself. It's definitely some tasty flavor regardless. I just wish that the coating of the chicken itself popped just a little more on its own, but you know what? It's all about the cane sauce with this. Let's see how this one works out. Sure looks like Thousand Island with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of spice, and it is definitely thick. Let's give this a shot. Mmm, yep. That is exactly what they're doing with this. The Kicked Up Thousand Island, aka the cane sauce, combos nicely with the outer coating on these chicken tenderloins. And when you get the juiciness of the chicken going with everything in general, that is just the capper right there, guys. I can easily see why this is their signature. Let's go for one more dip because this seriously makes it. This is the reason that this comes with it, and it's easily the signature that they've got going. Mmm. Definitely loving the creaminess of this cane sauce along with the light spice and a little bit of the pepper that I'm getting overall. Really rounds out this meal pretty nicely, guys. So on that bomb sexy for your face scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give the three finger combo over here at Raisin Cane's a very solid eight out of 10. It's very juicy white meat with a little light breading on the outside that also happens to be a little light in flavor in my opinion. But again, it is the cane sauce that really kicks it up a notch. And of course the Texas toast and the fries Overall, it's a pretty tasty meal. But of course, that's just my opinion as always. If any of you guys have already been to Raisin Cane's and you're familiar with the tastiness that they offer here, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Do you think it's really the second coming of the chicken tender? Very curious to hear your thoughts on this one. And that's it for now, gang. This is Ian K closing out another episode of Peep This Out. Glad to finally say I'm at Raisin Cane's in Costa Mesa, California, taking a look at their three finger combo. It's pretty tasty. Guys, if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell down below next to my channel name so you can be notified when new reviews drop, along with checking me out over at peepthisoutreviews.com. And keep in touch with me at all the addresses that you see right above me. Because after all, this is Peep This Out, baby. You know how we do. We'll definitely talk to you next time. Stay frosty. Man, I can't tell you how many helicopters are flying over my car since I'm doing this review. I think that's my cue. Until the next review, I'll talk to you soon.